Welcome to Sweet Maria's Coffee. Okay. I'm just kidding. Uh, <clears throat> these are my UV, um, UV glasses. Uh, they're clear glasses to protect my eyes from UV light because what I'm doing is trying to figure out. We've been looking at a lot of our coffee under UV. A lot of people do that. And we've been trying to determine why we have luminescing uh, coffee beans. And we know it has to do with bad fermentation and possibly with bacteria. It does not have to do with ripeness. It does not have to do with uh, a, a lot of other physical defects like black beans and stuff. But um, So what I've done here is I found this sample of Brazil. Hold on, I'm gonna turn on my light. So this is my UV flashlight. Ooh, you can get these really cheap. Let's try to dim the lights a little and look at this. I got a sample of a Brazil coffee, and I won't tell you who it's from, but uh, this sample here, I've sorted out, and it should represent good coffee, more or less. This sample here, I've stacked it with everything that glowed in the sample. I knew I wasn't going to touch this coffee, even though, you know, I'm not letting my coffee bond be determined by a little UV flashlight. Nonetheless, you know, we're seeing physical defects under UV, and we're trying to determine what they are. Um, like I said, it has to do with, uh, see, and there they are under somewhat normal light, and they're difficult to tell apart. I mean, we know it has, to, I know it has to do with fermentation, I know it has to do with, uh, um, possibly with bacterial growth, but what does that actually mean in the cup? I don't know. I don't trust that coffees that glow under UV are going to be coffees that are really durable. They're probably not physically dense. Um, because they could have been re-wetted on the patio and they're probably more porous. I doubt these coffees will last as long. I bet they will probably fade and change in character. So there's reasons to be concerned about UV. But, um, but what it actually means in the taste of the cup, I haven't really tried it much. So I was suddenly thinking, well, when I get a good sample, where it appears that the whole entire sample is not tainted with these UV glowing luminescing beans, but a percentage is implying that something in the quality chain was broken. Um, why not separate them out? That's what we're going to do. So this is part one. Part two of this video is going to be cupping and trying to find out what's wrong with it. I have to uh, watch my coffee here. Okay. So move on to part two after this. All right, bye.